Hello everyone, Raceamon here. Today I'm an ETS2, but we're gonna talk about a specific subject, of course. And that subject is my Twitter account for this channel. Now, I did just make it recently. So there's, it's literally just one tweet thus far saying that I just got my account. So, since I just barely made the account, I thought it was a good idea to get back into, well, into ETS. A little bit back into ETS. Currently, I'm going to go to a mechanics with this truck. Because I have a few mods that should be working. And I say should because I really don't know if they are. I don't know if they're working, I don't know anything about what they're doing. So, yeah. Also, I don't know if I talked about it like last ETS video, but I can't use my paddle shifters. My right one has literally conked out, I can't use it anymore. So, for shifting, I'm going to be using the basically semi-automatic manual stick, which I mean, in that case, it's not really um, a stick, and I just missed my turn. Darn, I should have actually turned there, but I didn't. Oh, man. So the Twitter account is at Racermon underscore gaming. I'll put the at on the screen. I don't know why I'm stopping. But I did. So I'll have that on the screen. And I think I really butchered the way I'm supposed to drive. But you know that happens enough to where it doesn't it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna have that Twitter and the reason why I made it was to have stuff like like questions or just posts about an idea I have about a video. Stuff like that. Stuff related to the channel, obviously. Since it has the at and then my YouTube name. Well, not my YouTube name, but the channel's name. I also, I actually need to make my own Twitter as well. I'll probably find something with that. Uh, so I got, I would use it for ideas. I would also use it for... What else would I use it for? Just, just to keep y'all posted on stuff that's happening. Like, I actually missed a weekend upload. Mainly due to... Um, a few things happening. Not like bad things, it's good things, don't worry. Uh... The good news that is there... Is... The, the sh** I spoke about before in a previous videos that I said was going to be for the channel is actually in the shop right now. So I'm really happy about that. So now, hopefully that'll be done very, very soon. Hopefully. I didn't check my mirror because I don't really want to. I'm a bit lazy right now. But, uh... It's going to be for the channel. I hope to like put content out about it. And yeah, you don't know what it is. It's a vehicle though. But that'll that'll come whenever it's ready. And hopefully when it's ready, I'll have something else to go with it. So there's a few things planned actually. As for ETS2, I'm I'm playing it because it's been a while, obviously. I think the last time I uploaded was um, multiplayer while I was in a Mercedes new Actro. If that was what I was in, then wow, that was quite some time ago. And honestly, it was. So now, I'm gonna see if some mods are working in my game, and hopefully they are. If they're not, then oh boy. And I don't think they are, are they? 
Oh no! Are they not? Are they not working? Ah, oh, they're not working at all. Okay. We'll we'll just do a normal load for now, and then I'll get the mods working, and then we can we can go from there. So that has a big power range. Wow, from a thousand to fifteen fifty on the RPM. Weird. But we're gonna go ahead and give it, you know, the company colors, of course. Which, what happened there? Where are all my colors at? Okay then. That is really weird. That is really weird. Is that the color scheme? That's weird because it's on a Volvo and I don't usually use Volvos. We'll go with Eastern Eagle, the standard gloss. Go there. And I've already passed my budget, uh, mainly on the sleeper. Oh boy. Go back to Canopy. Put the color. Uh, I'll do that instead. We're gonna put... Oop, can't do that. Oh no. What can I take off? Ah, right, that. 83, 373. Just a little too much. So then, instead of Eastern Eagle, we'll go with Elite Rider, because why not? Then again, I could take out the transmission. I'll do that. Then we'll put on Eastern Eagle. Now I have about 10,000 to play with. Which is nice. Um, what shall I put on? We'll put on Mirage. And then we'll see about putting on some extra pieces. Let's do Flow. Can I do two of them? Flow threes. Yes, I can. Alrighty. Can I get some tires? Can I get two tires? Oof. Okay. We'll put the rear ones as these. I'll put the front ones as those. And then run the gray. Oh, I can't even do that. Oh no. We'll just run rain tires in general. Okay. So we're good there. And then we're able to pay that off. Okay. Now, let's get a load somewhere for this video. Because I've already talked about Twitter. I've talked about, you know, the little thing that's going to be happening soon. Hopefully. We'll get used plastics. Why not? Got that new engine, yo. Oh, boy. That's a, um, a truck right there. Now, I really wished that my mods would have been working because... Well, not my mods, but you know what I mean. I wish they would have been working because it would be helpful. I'm going out there. Forget this. Also, I might have turned up traffic a bit. Maybe a bit too much. You can turn right on red bus. Come on. You're not going to turn right on red? Gray, okay. And now we go. Come on, bus. You're not carrying any people. I wonder how come you're so slow. Okay. Is that our trailer? Right there. I hope it is. Now, is it our trailer? Let's find out. It is our trailer, okay. I might be pushing the uh, shifter a little hard. There we go. 
mainly due to the fact that I've been doing a lot of drifting and stuff. And hopefully you see me in the top 10 of the slap train. You never know. I don't drift too much, but so I don't know if I'm actually going to get in the top 10. I probably won't. But hopefully one day I will because that'd be some that'd be cool. I'd I'd be I basically say I'd achieve something. Oh boy. Okay. But as you can tell, traffic has turned up quite a lot. And in all honesty, I don't mind it too much because it adds more challenge. Oh boy, that was a wide turn. But it'd be really cool, and mainly the drifting I've been doing is with the Hirochi Sunburst, and of course, that's what I sent in was a clip of Hirochi Sun the Hirochi Sunburst being drifted. Now, is that worthy of being, well, not drifted, technicality, power sliding? Now, I don't know if, you know, I have anything or if he's gonna be very picky about what he takes. That was a vibration. I don't know if he's going to be picky with what he takes, because in the clip, I guess, it's pretty long, but it's still pretty short, I guess. So I sent the thing, uh, he hasn't viewed it yet, it's Tuesday today, I think. So I'm hoping that he sees it before Friday or Saturday, whenever he does the one week thing. Because I would really love to get that sent to him. And maybe be in the top 10. Or be an honorable mention. I still make it in the video, which is impressive. And if I get in the video, then it's basically saying that a person who does hot lapping, which is me, I mainly do hot lapping in all sorts of games, can do drifting and be in the top 10. I'd never drift and or power slide. Well, I do power slide quite a bit, but not drifting usually. And not in BMG Drive either. Because the one vehicle that was all-wheel drive that I used, well there's two, but I used two for drift all power sliding, was a Ford RS200 Evolution and a R35 Nissan. Now don't judge me with the R35, this is before all the hype of it. Okay, don't don't judge me on that. This was a long time ago when I used the R35. It was it, it was barely released. Okay, there was no hype for it. The RS200 is supposed to be a rally car. I had two versions of it: a drag edition of it, and then the power sliding version of it. So I used those two. I also used. For regular drifting, real wheel drive, I think I used a Lexus. Uh, what was it? A Lexus. Oh boy. I think it was an LS 300 or something. Either way, it was a coupe or a coupe, however you want to pronounce that word. And I had it in blue with green rims. No idea why. Slammed it. Obviously, because that's what you do, I guess. I don't know. And I used it for drifting. It worked pretty well around the Sakuba circuit. Same as a Camaro Z28, made in like the 70s, 60s, around there. Come on, car. So I'm not a big drifter, but I drift some. And I'll explain why, even though I have those cars and other cars that I use for drifting and power sliding. Here's why I'm not a big drifter and or power slider. Is because I've taken I've taken many, 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 many vehicles around Nurburgring, the 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 Nordschilf or however you pronounce it. I've taken so many vehicles, it is unbelievable. I've taken like let's go on a list here. The DeLorean DMC-12, I took it around the track. I took the Ford Ka, because it's the slowest car on the game that I was using. I took 
a Ford Shelby GT500, a regular Ford Mustang, a Chevy Corvette Z06, Chevy Corvette ZR1, Chevy Corvette C4, the Chevy Corvette C3, took the 70 Stingray, which is a C3, uh, took Dodge Viper ACR, Dodge Viper SRT10, Dodge Viper ACR made in like 99, uh, let's see, did I take any more Chevys? Took a Chevy Chevelle, that's for sure. Obviously took the Bugatti Veyron, took the Bugatti Veyron, I can't, I can't remember the name. It was like EB110 or something. The other Bugatti made in like 90s, I think it was when it was made in the 90s. I took that. Took the Acura NSX, took the Honda NSX, uh, Ford GT, of course, the Ford GT, you gotta take all those supercars. Ooh, I took the Acura 007, uh, basically, what was it, an, a Le Mans car? An LM car, basically. I think I took it, it's green. Took the Aston Martin... I think it was the Rapide. It was a four-door Aston Martin, like a, a little, uh, well, big sedan. Took, oh boy, there's a lot of cars. Now, Hondas. Hondas, Hondas, Hondas. I don't think I ever took a Honda Civic. I took a Honda or Acura TSX, RSX, the variations of the two. I keep overrunning this vehicle. Um, what else did I take? A Scion TC, I mean, the previous generation before the current one. The, I think I did this in a different version because I don't think the game I'm thinking about right now had both versions of the Scion TC. But I took the older, like, 05 version to Nurgberg Ring. Uh, what else? Um. Uh, the Peugeot 908 Orica, the regular Peugeot 908, the Peugeot 905C, I think is what it was. Peugeot, what else was there? Made by Peugeot. I took one of their regular hatchbacks. I took SEAT's cup version of their Cupra. I think is what it is, a Leon Cupra. I think it's a Leon Cupra R, I think is what I took. I took the Vauxhall Turbo, which is basically an Opal Speedster. I did take both of those, actually, in separate runs. Took the Chevy, the Chevy Z28 that I made, the, that was a drift car. I took that one around there when I made it into a track car, and, like, tuned it for a track. Took that one. Took a 70s, and I know it's a 70s Z28. The ones that are much shorter, much lighter, not so big in the front. I know I took one of those. And went around the track. It was stock, of course. All of these are mainly stock. I took a Mazda Familia that I had made for Mo Forza Motorsport 2. Like, it was a tribute to Forza Motorsport 2 because, oh boy... The love of Forza Motorsport 2. It's so big. It took the Mazda RX-7 Savannah, I think is what it is. I keep forgetting. The Toyota Super Mark III. Toyota Super Mark IV. Toyota Super Mark IV Drift. Toyota Super Mark IV Drag. And a Toyota Super Mark IV for track. So all of those were separate Toyota Super runs. Uh, what else did I take? I did take a Toyota MR2. Took the MRS. Uh, didn't Toyota have any special cars in that game? I don't think so. Uh, TVR. I took the... I think it's Cereb... Cerebra? Speed 12? 
can't remember the name. It's a rough name. But one of the fastest TVR cars out there. I did take the TVR Tuscan. I know that. The Sagaris I took. What else did I take? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Toyota. I think I took the Toyota Altezza. Uh, Nissan. I took all of the Skylines. No joke. Each of the Skylines that were in that game, I took them. The R33, R34, and R35. Took all of them. I think the Lexus that I was took on that track, besides like the Lexus LFA, Lexus ISF, I think is what it was. We had an ASB transmission. Uh, Lexus, I think the LS, which is what I was thinking of earlier for Lexus, it's the IS300 I took. Then there's an SC430. I don't know what combination that is. I, it might be a Lexus. I don't know. I took, I think it's an SC430. Took it around Nerdburgering. Uh, Maserati. Oh boy, there's a vehicle there. Maserati Gran Turismo, I think is what it was. I took it around the track. The Maserati MC12. Oh boy. Speaking of Maserati, McLaren. I took McLaren's F1. McLaren's... Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name. Is it an MP412C? I think is what it is. I took that. Uh, McLaren's... Oh, what is it? It's not an F1 LM. That's a variation of the F1. I think it's the F1 GT is what it was. I took that one. Not the race version, but the actual quote-unquote production car. I took that one around the track. Of course, all of these, again, are stock. A lot of them, anyway. I took Pagani's... Ooh, what did I take of Pagani? There was on the Cinque Roadster I took around the track. Uh, what else? The Weissman MS MF5, MF5, not MS, sorry. I took that car. Uh, what else? Did I take a Vauxhall Astra? I don't think I took a Vauxhall Astra. I think out of all of the vehicles that I've gone through so far, the best one that I've driven, that's front wheel drive, well, it's a fight between, oh boy! Okay, wow. Wow, okay. Anyway, the fight between the front wheel drive cars. The Leon Cupra is being excluded in this because it is basically a race car. Kind of. It's like a cup car. Uh, which ones shall we include? I'm gonna say the... Oof. I don't want to say it, but the Scion TC. Probably one of the better front wheel drive cars. Mainly because I never really lost control of it. Like the very few f first turns I kind of overestimated them and always cut the corner wide. Mainly due to the fact that you can't break the car of its steering and it understeers so bad. But due to it understeering so bad you can just hop in the car and learn how to drive it. And be able to push it to its limit. I enjoyed doing that. Uh, Lexus, Lexus, Lexus. Why do I keep going back to Lexus? What else is there? Let's see, there's Acura, Bugatti, Chevy, Dodge. Ooh, Fiat! I did take a Fiat front 500. Ah, uh, there's Dodge, Fiat. Ooh, Gumpert, the Gumpert Apollo. I, oh, I definitely took that. Oh, man. Handled... A bit rough to be honest but not not bad for what it is I took the Gumpert Apollo there's only like one Holden in the game and I think it's a Holden HSW 427 
I'm pretty sure if you just put it, hold an HSW, you can find out what I'm talking about. Oh, Ferraris. Oh my gosh, how can I forget about Ferraris? Oh boy. I took many Ferraris out on that track. The Ferrari F355, the F355 Challenge, the 575 Maranello. I don't know how to pronounce that, by the way, so I'm butchering a lot of these names. The Ferrari Enzo. Ooh, the Ferrari F50, the F40, the F50 GT I even took. What else? There's more. The 250 California, the Testarossa, I think it was made in the 80s, early 90s, the, is the Testarossa I took. Uh, the, f was it a Ferrari? The 365 GT slash B, I think that's a Ferrari. Not too sure. Not too sure at all. I think it is. The 365. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I did take the 458. Really hated it. For considering it's a real wheel drive, it understeers as bad as a front wheel drive car. In my in like in my point of view, like for a real wheel drive car. Is basically as bad as a front wheel drive car with a performance of rear. So basically, it's a ruined rear wheel drive car. That's pretty bad. I took Ferrari's FF. I don't think I took the Ferrari FXX, I think is what the number is. I took the 599. I took that one. Uh. What didn't I take a Ferrari? I know there's a few that I didn't take, obviously. Like, I took the 250 California. But there's another one that's near that I did not take. I think it was... It was a GTO of a vehicle, but I can't remember what it was. I, I don't remember the numbers. Oh, boy. I don't remember it. I took the... I think it's the Ferrari 330 P4 around... Nuremberg ring and I actually put it against you know the vehicle that Ford had made well Ford had basically sponsored because British people made the vehicle but the GT40 I put them against each other and handling wise I preferred the Ferrari 330 P4 over the GT40 but performance wise oh boy I turned off my engine <laughs> Performance wise, like how it handled and everything, the fun I got out of it would be the Ford GT40. Now the P4, of course, was so much more tame. It wasn't so wild. Like I enjoy cars that are wild, yes, but around the track that you are very, like all of these runs were taken basically once. And it was basically, you get it right, or, your, or that lap is done. Because I had amazing laps. The Peugeot 905 is one of those amazing laps. The Aston Martin Lola, I think is what it was. That was an amazing... Uh, what is that? Is it an LMP car? I can't remember what those cars are. But it's like an LMP car. I think. It's like that around the track. I took quite a few BMWs. I put the Z4. I think is what it was. Jeez, this is a long time ago too. I think it's the Z4. Can't quite remember. Uh, what else? Is there a 135? Is there a BMW that's a 135? If they there might be. But I took one of those. I took the older M3 took the X5 and X6 series SUVs uh, took the BMW M3 like race car basically you know without AC because race car no I'm just kidding uh, what else was there what else what else what else what else oh no it's raining by the way BMWs 
the race car is a uh, is a bit is a bit much. And stop. Like it there's just a lot of things wrong with a lot of cars and BMW is kind of one of those companies. I think there's also a BMW Z4 race car. I took that around the track. There's a lot of cars. Ferrari, Gumpert, Holden, Honda. The Acura NSX race version, there's another race version of that. It wasn't exactly made for Nurburgring, mainly because I can it peaks out at like 170 miles an hour, I think. And is very low power. Oh boy. Great way to end the video there. Wow. But, there are a lot of cars. And that's basically the main reason why I am not a drifter. Now I know I spent probably like 20 minutes saying how many vehicles I've hot lapped around Nurburgring. Figured in the time that I could say how many cars I've hot lapped, three custom Corvette ZR1s that I tuned on there and performance upgraded. And I didn't upgrade it like, a hun like all the way either. I put it to about 880 horsepower I think is what it was with a really high, like really long reverse. Not reverse, first, golly, what is wrong with me? Now in that game, the fastest car, and you should basically tell any YouTuber to try this in any of the Forzas now, the fastest car was a, and I took both of these around, Nurburgring, is the Celine S7, right? engine slop it with the Celine S5S Raptor engine. If you can do that in any of the Forzas now, tell the YouTuber that you watch to do that because I am pretty sure it will be the fastest car because the engine produces over a thousand horsepower and it has a supercharger. Stock! And the amount of wine from that supercharger is so extreme but as you can see we finished the load and we're here in our Volvo obviously with our blinkers so I'll call it here basically so go to that Twitter I'm gonna put the at again on the screen go to that Twitter follow me I'll post stuff at a certain point, I'll be posting random things till I get an idea for a video. Go there, I guess. Follow me, however that works. I'm not a Twitter person. But for the exception, I'll use Twitter with that account. Go to that account. You know, follow me here. Like, keep up to date with me. We have stuff planned. So, until next time. This has been Racermon, and I will see you later.